Let's dog him. Hi guys, it's Zeon here. Today I am going to give you information. If you are a person that wants to change your name, I am going to tell you how you can do it for very, very cheap very very legally very very fast i have adapted my name and not the zeon part zeon has always been my name when i popped out of my mom i said hey i'm zeon and it, that's been my name ever since but when people hear that i have done things to my name they just presume naturally that that is the bit that i've changed but it's not so if you were born a bob but think that you should more like be a zebedee then i'm going to tell you how you can do that what what I did with my name was I actually removed a surname. I wanted to be my own thing. It was about finding my own identity. That's not something that I would need to do now, but it was something that I needed to do back then. And this has been my name now for 25 years, so there you go. If anyone doesn't quite believe me that I have only one name, which is called a mononym, this is my passport. There you go in the back because when I travel it causes all sorts of problems they've put this little bit if I had changed my first name I would have picked something a bit cooler than Xeon it would have been something like Turbo Man so how did I do it it's actually really easy it's something called a statutory declaration this is what one looks like it's not the most exciting piece of paper in the world. I'll put a link to one below which you can download. I'll just quickly explain to you what's on this and how it works. So statutory declaration of change of name. I, your new name of your current address, formerly known as your old name, do solemnly and sincerely declare that. one. I absolutely and entirely renounce, relinquish and abandon the use of my former name of your old name and assume, adopt and determine to take and use from the date hereof the new name of your new name in substitution for my former name of your old name. What that means is you are getting rid of your old name. If your name is Bob Smith and you want to change your name to Zeus Godman, from then on you have to be Zeus Godman. You can't be Zeus Godman some of the time and Bob Smith the rest of the time. Because once this is legal, this is legal. There's no going back. Well, there is going back, you just do another one of these. But you know what I'm saying. Number two, I shall at all times hereafter in all records, deeds, documents and other writings and in all actions and proceedings as well as in all dealings and transactions and on all occasions whatsoever use and subscribe my new name of your new name in substitution for my former name of your old name so relinquished to the intent that I may hereafter be called known and identified by the new name of your new name and not by my former name of your old name what you're essentially agreeing to there is if I buy a house I'm buying the house in my new name if I open a bank account I'm opening a bank account in my new name number three I authorise and require all persons at all times to identify, describe and address me by my new name of your new name. I make this solemn declaration conscientiously believing the same to be true and by virtue of the provisions of the Statutory Declarations Act 1835. So that's just basically saying I'm not mental. You don't sign it yet, there's a bit at the bottom to sign it. But you take it to a solicitor's or a commissioner of oaths and in front of them you sign it. They get you to repeat something, I can't remember exactly what it is. I think it's just I do solemnly and sincerely declare that I, Bob Smith, am now called Zeus Superman or whatever it is. To print this off costs you however much a piece of paper costs you. To do the commissioner solicitor of oaths thing is 
10, 15, maybe 20 pounds. You generally don't need an appointment because it takes five minutes. So you can walk into a solicitor, say, hello, can somebody sign a statutory declaration for me? They think, oh, that's an easy 15 pounds. Yes. And then you just go and do it. Now, the next thing you do with your piece of paper with your new name on it is you make some copies of it. For things like your passport, your driving license, you tend to send off to them your statutory declaration along with your original birth certificate or some other uh, proof of former identity. Then they just change everything for you. And it really is that simple. Same for the banks. You just show them your new statutory declaration and they change everything. But obviously this only applies to the UK. I don't know how difficult or complicated it is in other countries. There is also deed poll in the UK, but this is exactly the same legally does exactly the same thing, but it costs you 10, 15 pounds instead of a couple of hundred quid, or however much Depot is. I never looked into it because I knew this was way cheaper. And that's about it for today. One thing I will say is before you do something as big as changing your name, understand that you are changing your name. This is not going up to your mates and saying, hey mates, can you now call me Cockman from now on, please? This is you permanently calling yourself Cockman until you do another statutory declaration that changes your name to vagina features. Just remember, this is it. This will go next to your national insurance number, your driving license, your passport. It will be on your fucking tombstone. If this video has been useful to you, please give it a... Thumbs up! In the comments bit, please tell me what you've changed your name to because I'm really hoping it's not just boring stuff like people changing their name from Smith to Jones. If you decide to do what I did and have a mononym, i.e one name that it will be the most annoying thing in the fucking world because every time you want to fill out a form they go what's your surname you say i don't have a surname and they say what do you mean you don't have a surname and it just takes forever anyway that's irrelevant don't do a mononym unless you really 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 have to and if you're called steve just don't do a fucking mononym. Please do the subscribey thing. There's new videos coming all the time, two or three a week, about all kinds of stuff. Life stuff, help stuff, just stuff stuff. We try and do it in an entertaining fashion. That's it. I'll see you again. Bye bye.